Welcome to part two of my gallery provider face-off. If you missed part one, feel free to go back and check out the full introduction as well as see the first four categories. If you're coming from part one or you just don't feel like watching the first installment, a quick recap. I am pitting four of the leading Lux brand gallery service providers against each other to see how they measure up. Pick time is in the lead with pass in a close second which is no surprise because they are basically the same system, with CloudSpot and Pixie Set bringing up the rear. For this part, we'll be looking at shop setups as well as who gives the best customer support. I also have a bonus snarky category that I'm going to be saving for the very end. So without further ado, let's jump right back into it. Our fifth category is going to be ease of shop setup. The reason why I wanted to include this category in my judging is because having a good online shop is ridiculously important for us as photographers to have some way of earning money from a session after it's been delivered. Shops allow us to do that, and each of these client galleries provide mostly very different types of shops. Starting us off is CloudSpot, who has an easy enough interface to get the hang up quickly. Right from setup, you can choose between three labs, auto or custom fulfillment, and decide on some other optional features. If you opt for auto fulfillment, you will be able to quickly jump around and do bulk markups within each product and decide on the set list of products to offer. It is a little weird if you don't want to offer a product. There isn't an easy way to just turn off an entire item. You have to go in and deselect all the sizes and then the item will be grayed out from your catalog just a tiny bit tedious. There's also not a lot of print and product options to worry about in auto fulfillment. CloudSpot offers the usual suspects of prints and wall art, but it is lacking things like greeting cards that I know my clients love to order around holiday times. If you go the custom fulfillment route, you'll have complete freedom over the products that you offer, but you do have to manually enter in each and every item you'd like to have in your shop. If you do a lot of unique offerings like photo blocks or ornaments and don't mind manually entering in orders in the Print Lab Rose apps, this would be a fantastic option for you. For me, this is a little bit much. I've been pretty much doing my own version of custom or self-fulfillment for 10 years and I'm honestly pretty burnt out from it. So getting the chance to have a Print Lab that does all the fulfillment for me is too sweet to pass up. Also, outside of the holiday time greeting card orders, my clients typically go for standard prints and canvas wraps, so the auto-fulfillment offerings are fine by me. The other setup steps are easy to do. You can set your tax rate, shipping, and discount codes super quickly without too much hassle. I didn't set up discount codes because I had to enter in a credit card, and I wasn't going to be doing that today. And you can set your catalog to default so that it auto applies to all your client galleries. From a client's perspective, I feel like you can really see how few items the print labs offer via CloudSpot. This kind of seems like an unfinished page to me, but it is possible in being unreasonably harsh. Once your client would select a print though, the interface that they will see when sizing and ordering is fantastic they can see the crop on the sizing and adjust that crop, which is a super visual to give to clients. While I do like CloudSpot's shop a lot, it just feels very basic to me and I feel like there is something I'm missing out on. Enter in Pixie Set, who has a very clean store setup interface. When you select the store tab in your dashboard, you are immediately directed to a getting started section where you can get help if you need it, create a new price list, or edit the default list. When working on a new pricing catalog, I can set it to auto or self-fulfillment and add in the most commonly sold products to the self-fulfill option. Within the auto fulfillment, you can choose to do auto print lab selection or choose a specific lab to use. They also give you recommended pricing and you can apply this price sheet to all collections right from the beginning. I feel like there are plenty of print and product options to provide to my clients as well. The biggest option being cards. If your gallery service provider doesn't give you the ability to offer cards, switch away from them, especially if you photograph seniors and do a lot of Christmas minis. 
And while the bulk markup in and of itself is incredible, you may also have to go in and individually tweak some pricing based on what you want your markup to be for that specific product. But Pixie Set makes it super easy to do that as well. Speaking of specific products, if you aren't vibing with something, you can easily turn off that product by clicking this trio of dots and choosing hide item. I do wish this option was a little bit more easily visible instead of hidden, but at least we don't have to go through and deselect all the sizes just to get the item to go away. Up at the navigation, it's very clear what steps you should take next, first being setting your products, then taxes, shipping, and coupons. Super straightforward and simple. From the client side of things, I'm super impressed. They have this great header so that your clients can start visualizing their products and prints right in their home. The options that we chose to offer are well laid out and, to me, don't look over or underwhelming. A small complaint I do have is that they don't show the cropping of the images in a sort of real-time kind of way, which could mean that your clients order a group photo sized at 8x10 and don't realize that the crop may cut some people off. I'm not sure if Pixie Set will reach out to mitigate the issue, but I'm sticking to my feeling of it sucks to not see the crop. That small issue aside, I feel like there is just the right amount of stuff in Pixie Set to make me feel confident in what I'm providing. I can get my shop up and running very quickly with not a whole lot of frustration at all. And bringing up the rear is pastime. Now, I will mainly be showing pick time shop setup because again, these two are so very similar to each other that when you see one, you are seeing the other. There are a few times where they differ, but for the most part, they are twins right down to what you can and cannot do. Also, I totally get that pick time is supplying Pass's dashboard, but like, Pass couldn't even be bothered to change where their information article links to within their sales campaign tab in a client gallery. When you click on learn more, you go to a pick time resource page, which is completely normal, right? Anyway, Pastime both seem to hide their store pricing within the settings tab, so it takes a little bit of clicking to find the offerings. But when you do, they have a very streamlined, very nice looking store setup. It's easy to set a minimum order amount, do your bulk marking up, and select which products to offer and not offer unless you're in the free tier, and then you can't easily unselect items. A little bit of a difference in the offerings category is that PickTime has a lot more listed than Pass does. I'm not sure if I were able to do new product on Pass, what the options to add would be since I'm in the free tier and they do ask for a credit card to be entered before allowing you to create custom products. It's just for the commission cut when your client purchases, but since this is just a for fun video and testing, I didn't feel comfortable putting in my credit card number for the service. There is a small annoyance that I have with the intuitiveness of the shop setup. When first accessing the shop, we get this nice default list that seems to have everything we need. There isn't much need for me to create a new catalog because I have this one and I'm happy with it. Except for the fact that setting the print labs is now sort of a hassle since you can't apply one lab to all the products in a nice swift way. You have to go individually into each item and then the paper type and make those print lab decisions. However, if you make your own price list, you can set priority labs at that point. I think it would be nice if there was a way to adjust the priority labs in the default list or if there was a little bit more attention being drawn to setting your own price list and then the priority labs. The other issue I run into with both of these is a personal one, and it's that I feel completely out of my element when looking at all the options. While I did love the extensive offerings in the pick time pricing breakdown, seeing the shop and making changes makes me feel like I'm a toddler in a glass shop. I could make one wrong move and everything will crash down around me. Which did actually happen on both sites. When I was going through and working on some bulk updating, both shops had a hiccup and I lost the updates I was creating. I unfortunately didn't capture it on my recording, which is probably for the best because there would have been a lot of bleeping out to do. On the client end of things, the shop is stunning. 
The custom header is great for visualizing. The offerings are listed out clearly and nicely. And your clients can really customize a lot of items like the cards and even their lay flat albums. For all the crap that I was giving past time for the setup of the shop, it really is a beautiful system on the client side of things. However, Pixie Set still ran away with this one by being just right. I wasn't sweating about having too much to play with and also losing time having to redo work, and I wasn't worried that my clients would feel like I wasn't offering enough. Pixie Set has my favorite shop set up of all time. It's so effortless and easy, it's perfect for the new photographer just starting, and the seasoned photographer as well. I could literally talk about this shop all day, but that would be extremely boring, and I don't think anyone would stay tuned for that lengthy of a talk. So we're going to move on to our next category, which involves customer service. Now, this probably sounds like a very boring category, but seriously, you gotta ask yourself, who wants to have an issue with their gallery service and not know how to contact their service provider? Answer, nobody. Well, luckily, our four brave gallery services have us mostly covered. Starting things off is CloudSpot, which is a really useful help center located in the footer of their website and within the help dropdown within the dashboard as well as an online chat service that is offered before you even sign up. They also give you the option to set up a private tour of their product so you can make sure you are using the service to its highest ability, which is pretty cool. Moving on to Pixie Set, who has a help center located in the footer of their website and also a question mark button at the top of their dashboard, where you can search for answers, check out useful articles, or reach out to their support via email. If you'd like to chat with someone, you can also bring up the chat program by hitting the contact us button within the question mark icon. They also specifically have a chat button in the corner of the store section, so I assume they get asked a lot of store questions. Little weird the chat button isn't in the corner of the entire dashboard, but we'll keep moving along to pass. Who actually differs slightly from pick time in this category because pass does not list an email to personally reach out to get assistance on their help page i could find faq articles that are full of useful information but their search is a bit limiting when hoping for a keyword match they also have a facebook community support page with almost 50,000 members and an online chat within their dashboard that does list a specific sort of email but i couldn't navigate to an email to reach out to anyone listed on the help page but maybe they are more responsive in the online community versus email. And last but not least is PickTime, who does have their contact emails listed right on their website in a contact tab. And if you have a login, you also get access to a chat feature. I couldn't navigate to their help center from just their webpage, but they do have a help button similar to passes when you log into the dashboard. Their search also does keyword hits, so that's pretty different from pass. I could ask my dumb questions and get some articles to still come up. As is tradition, they pretty much have everything pass as, with the addition of an email on their main page and keyword searching. But the victor of this fight and category point winner is CloudSpot, who has a lot of great info in their help center and I can access their chat without having to sign in. I will gladly sacrifice the easily accessible email for a very good active chat program that I can access without even being a customer any day of the week. So that finishes up the normal categories, and now we'll be moving to my snarky category that is really just here so that I can harp on some extra annoying features from two of the providers that jumped out at me as I was doing my testing. We'll start off with Pixie Set and their mobile app gallery. The concept itself isn't what annoys me at all. It's Pixie Set's way of doing it that makes me pull my hair out. First of all, they make it seem like a feature that is separate from the client gallery interface. So when you go through the process of thinking about making a mobile app gallery, you initially are believing that you have to go into a totally different section of your dashboard and redo the entire image upload process which would just be doubling your workload and wasting your time. However, that's not the only way to make a mobile app gallery. They do make it a little easier, 
by allowing you to select certain or all the images in your gallery, going over to this drop down menu that surprise has a sweet feature, their term, hidden in it, and creating the mobile app gallery from there. So what's the issue? Well, to me, everything I just said sounds like a waste of time toward creating something that is as simple as a mobile app gallery. It's either presented as a totally different aspect within the dashboard, or it's hidden within a dropdown. Why? CloudSpot offers a similar mobile gallery app feature in their paid accounts that is as simple as hitting a clearly marked button during initial gallery setup. On CloudSpot, it's not within a dropdown menu, it's not made to seem like an upscale suite feature slash product that it really isn't. It's not something that you need the help guide to discover an easier way to manage. It's just right there. Hopefully Pixie Set will clean this up in some way in the future. Something super easy to do would be to just nix the client app gallery tab in the dashboard because do they really get a lot of people just creating mobile app galleries for their clients instead of traditional galleries? Another fix would be to create a quick and obvious button in the individual gallery setup process, much like what CloudSpot has. If other people don't have an issue with this setup, that's totally cool. I just think there's a much more streamlined approach that would make the entire process easier and make the feature much more viable. Now heading over to Pass. So my problems with Pass are all very minor head scratchers that culminate in making Pass feel clunky and gimmicky. The first one appears right on their pricing page in the form of their trio of free options. Now, what could I find wrong with something that's free? Well, what's the point of having three free options listed when there is really only one that is obtainable? You don't get a choice between 5, 10, or the 20 gigabytes of storage with your free tryout. It auto signs you up for the 20 gigabyte free tier. I'm not a marketer. I'm not pretending to be a marketer. I'm just someone who likes to complain, but what this feels like to me is a marketing gimmick designed to have you ignore the paid tiers that are hidden by a row break in the page, get you to sign up for the service based on that sweet, sweet 20 gigs of space, use up all your 20 gigabytes of space, and then push you into investing. After you've already uploaded so many gigs of images and potentially promised your clients that their images will remain online for at least a year or more, it's going to be harder for you to feel compelled to not pay for the past service. Now, Pastime did win the free zone category point because they do offer so much space, and I do stand by that stance because I would still prefer 20 gigs over one or three. Would I actually feel more comfy at 10 gigs? 100%. But going back to Pass's pricing page structure, it seems like a pretty common practice for businesses that have pricing tiers to do it in the way Pass does with page breaks and blasting you with incentives. However, I've actually noticed through my searching that that tactic is pretty uncommon with a lot of client gallery service providers, especially with the ones we've seen today. You can see all of their pricing for their gallery services listed in a singular line. It's easy to weigh options and see what is and is not included without having to scroll through a layer of BS freebies. Pass is the only one that we're looking at today that splits up their client gallery service tiers and includes two nonsense options. And no matter how I manipulate the size of my browser page, those three free tiers remain aligned together and the boring old paid tiers continue to be pushed under the freebies. If I was looking at Pass as a normal patron and not trying to test and review their service, I wouldn't have even bothered with a free account, specifically because of how silly their pricing page feels. The other WTF moments are within their dashboard that is way too similar to Big Time. Once you start getting into the different settings and options available, you really start seeing that Pass did nothing to set themselves apart from the very familiar interface of BigTime. I mean, I hate to mention this again, just kidding, I actually love mentioning this, but the resource page for the automations takes you to a BigTime help page. Also included in the email packages section, there's a note about art galleries, which is a BigTime feature. Art galleries do not exist for Pass. There's a lot more I can say on the oddities of the past PickTime partnership, 
but I'll keep it as short as I feel possible since I feel like I've harped on it a lot during the entire video and leave it at this. Their pricing, dashboard interface, and relationship with PickTime is too confusing, too sketchy, and I see it as downright lazy. So Pixie Set and Pass are both losers and I'm applying a negative one point to both of these services scores. Pixie Set has two different processes associated with their web app galleries where one is just about buried and the other is creating extra work for the user. And even though it's an optional feature to use, it is a feature that is still being paid for by nature of using Pixie Set. And who wants to pay for something that at the end of the day is just a little too tedious to use? And with Pass, well, they're doing some interesting marketing strategies with their free tiers, which just ticks me off way too much. And they are being super lazy with their copy pasted pick time dashboard. I understand that they probably paid good money for the pick time service and it's a great service. And it's totally cool if that's what Pass wanted to do, but they could have put in a little extra legwork to inject the Pass personality throughout the entirety of the dashboard and clean up some of the conflicting information. Which brings us to the scoreboard. In first place, we have pick time with three points. Second place is cloud spot with two points. Third place is Pass with one point. And in fourth place is Pixie Set with zero points. Now, I do feel really bad about Pixie Set getting zero points because they are still a great service. They just didn't do very well in this matchup. And I'm totally prepared to take responsibility and say that maybe my categories just didn't hit on the strength of Pixie Set. I mean, they are there for the new photographer with their website options, and that is amazing. But because I do feel bad, I want to reiterate that their shop is really great and they do an amazing job with their discount and gift card interface to make selling prints and cards so easy on the photographer and the customer. So I'd like to give them an additional point for being great with keeping a photographer shop organized and active. So our final, final scores are going to be Pixie Set with one, Pass with one, Cloud Spot with two, and Pick Time with three. So I guess the big winner here is Pick Time, which did actually surprise me. Before I fully dove in to my client gallery research, I fully expected Pass to be the ultimate champion in every category that I could think of. But when I actually dug into Pass a little bit more, I discovered a surprising lack of attention to detail and that the whole past vibe feels like they are trying to be the Facebook of photographic services. I wasn't impressed. What I did like in past, I found much stronger and more cohesively placed within pick time. I enjoyed their dashboard, their pricing, their uploader, and overall vibe. And I can see why they are quickly becoming a popular choice amongst all types of photographers. What are your thoughts? Would you have dished the points out differently? Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more client gallery face-offs or if you'd like me to take a deeper look into each one of these one by one. I love a good deep dive and I also love providing photographers with a resource in order to help them make the best decisions for their businesses. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please feel free to give this video a like if you liked it and also subscribe to my channel and hit that little notification bell so you can stay up to date with all that I am releasing. I will see you in the next one.